Good morning, welcome back to Build Life Overland. Today, we're gonna start a new build because why would you finish the one you're currently working on before you start another one? This is my enclosed trailer I just got. Uh, it's a trailer and it's enclosed. Now that we have all this uh, sketchiness out of the way, I think it's pretty good. We got the latch down on the coupler. This is a 2,500 pound rated sawhorse. Uh, and I'm leaving it hooked up with the brake on the forklift. We're in these ramps with detents. And uh, if all else fails, it's been a good run. this crap on and I I got on my forehead don't I I still got it on my forehead but uh, and then we ran out so I'm gonna take it all off and then uh, we're gonna go to the store and buy some more this is a uh, rust-oleum product bed liner this is a 14 foot trailer I bought four cans I think on three more would do it I'm gonna get four because I don't want to put all this crap back on again this was kind of a joke to begin with, and then after I got under there and started spraying, oh, I actually did save my clothes. This is the Rust-Oleum stuff that we've been using, this uh, truck bed pro grade. We ran short, I went through four cans. Ace Hardware's considerably closer than Menards where I got this stuff. They didn't have that brand, but they had these two. This is a Duplicolor and Herculiner. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to try a couple different brands. I'll let you guys know which works best. I guess uh, since we had the opportunity to test these, we might as well do it. This is what we started off with, this Rust-Oleum Pro Grade. They sell, uh, it's like $18 a can. They sell a, you know, $16 can version. I'm sure it depends on where you buy it at. You could probably get it on Amazon. I'll look and see if I can find links uh, to put in the, in the description. This and this performed almost the same. This is the Duplicolor and the Rust-Oleum. Uh, they're very rubbery. Um, this might have been a little bit better, but this was like $4 a can cheaper. Um, I'm going to call Duplicolor the win for the rubberized stuff. Now, the most expensive was this Herculiner stuff, 
What's funny is uh, it's thinner, so it goes further, which makes sense. Cans are all the same size. This stuff smells like cherry, like it's got a scent in it. It's a weird deal, but it's really thin. It's almost like spray paint, you know? Um, so if I had to do over again and I were gonna recommend something, I'd have probably bought like six cans of this Dupla color, sprayed the underside as best as I could, give it an hour or two to dry, even by the time you get to the other end, start where you started. And I'd maybe get me two or three cans of this and go under and do a quick touch up or even a full coat of this stuff over the top because it goes further, it's thinner, it covers, works pretty well. But whatever you do, you know, they even sell this stuff in like brush grade or put it on with a roller or whatever you like in a can. Gavin said he did a trailer with that and made a big mess. So, uh, but this is not uh, real neat anyway. So um, I guess take what it's worth, do nothing, clear coat it. I don't know, spray paint would probably work fine. Seemed like something was appropriate before this is all boogered up while it's still new. Uh, but that's what I got. Like, subscribe, do all the things that you hate when people say that, don't you? Mm -hmm.